Hello, my friends. It's Ken here, and it's time to talk Torn. Uh, today, we're going to cover really the most requested topic that, that comes up in my growing community of, of newbies that, that have joined me in my Discord server, uh, The Dollhouse. And their question is, what is Natural Nerve Bar? So we're going to go over really all of the components that, that together make the total nerve bar. Go over a list of some recommended crimes that you should consider if you're looking to maximize your crime experience growth. I'll have some other tips about things that you can do to optimize how you're doing your crimes. And then we'll just have a few housekeeping reminders about giveaways because I appreciate all of you for watching and I don't want you to miss out on the chance to win all this free stuff because there's a lot of it. So pitter patter, nerve bar. First of all, can we just drop the B on natural nerve bar because natural nerve is just one of four components of the total nerve bar. The bar is the whole thing, right? Anyways, so you can read ahead. I've got it on the screen. Your nerve bar is made up of your natural nerve, faction nerve, company nerve, and merit nerve. Now, I'm gonna zoom out. I don't know how well it'll, it'll show up, but I'm gonna zoom out. That's too far. There we go. So up top is an example of the maximum nerve bar a player can have. And below that is my personal example of, of how m my nerve bar is, ma is made up of. So your natural nerve, just to go over these in a little bit more detail. Your natural nerve is a factor of how much crime experience you have when you commit more crimes successfully you gain more crime experience so as you as you build your crime experience at a certain point it exceeds a certain threshold and then your natural nerve goes up in increments of five so you start out at 15 then it goes to 20 up and up in increments of five all the way up to 60. Early on, it's a bit quicker to, to level that up, but as you get further along, it takes a lot longer uh, to get those boosts. And there's also kind of this snowball effect, if you think about it, because by committing more crimes, you get a, a higher maximum nerve bar, which means when you log in, after being away, you've got more nerve, so you can commit more crimes and gain even more crime experience. And so the whole thing just um, feeds itself. Um, so your natural nerve is a measure of how much crime experience you have personally. Your faction nerve, it just depends on how much respect your faction has, first of all. And secondly, how they've decided to spend that respect. Because if they're a lower respect faction, they can't upgrade everything at once. And so they have to prioritize. And, you know, some factions have everything and some factions don't. So, you know, it's something to check into. In fact, here I'll show you my faction, I got permission to give a little peek of this. So if you just go to your factions page and then go to where it says upgrades, there's all these, there's a, the core upgrades, but then there's all these branches. I'm just gonna peek at criminality real quick. That's all. So look at all this. Oh my gosh. So they've got everything. Um, and down here provides passive bonus to crime experience and then the one on the very bottom is the nerve increases maximum nerve 
So they've got all of those maxed out here in London. So we've covered, I think that covers faction nerve pretty well. Company nerve, really I wasn't even very aware of until I really prepared for this video. But if you work at a, an amusement park or meat warehouse or a pub, then those companies, if you have enough stars, get additional maximum nerve. But that's probably not going to apply for most of my audience. Um, so if you're trying to figure out your own natural nerve, look at how many merits you have spent to increase your nerve bar. Personally, I have spent four. Um, and if you don't know where to check that, there's a couple places. Here, if we go back into the game, and if I just go home, the home page has these tiles that you can you can rearrange. So per, for, for the purposes of this video, I've put these ones up top. Personal perks. Go here, and I've got a few pages, but if, if I go to on the faction section, my third page here is where it shows me increases maximum nerve by 40. Now, if I go over to the merit section, it's like a circle with a star in it. Right here, it just says plus four maximum nerve. So I know I've got a total of 99 on my bar, maximum of 99. Minus the 4 from my merits would bring me to 95. Minus the 40 from my faction would bring me to 55. And that is what my natural nerve is. Let's see. I don't want to get off track here. So that's where you go to look. You can see how much your 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 perks are here if you don't want to look on the faction page or go into the merit section where you go to spend them you can look there but um, I just wanted to show you this because I thought it was interesting and that's really it for the nerve bar I uh, hope that makes sense for everybody and next I'm gonna just go over some of the good crimes that you should be going after so now that you know how to calculate your natural nerve, look at this list here. You can take a screenshot of it. If you look through the forums, a lot of them, they all kind of say the same thing, and this is it. So if your nerve bar is 15, go shoplifting, steal jackets. You're never going to get jailed. If you have done a lot of that, if you've st stolen a lot of jackets, go pickpocketing, pickpocketing. Get, get the kid, get the old woman, pickpocket the businessman. Once you reach, I'm not going to read the whole thing, you can read it. Um, but the armed robberies, stealth virus, and really the goal is to just get to doing arson warehouse as soon as possible. So once you reach natural nerve, of 30 and you're doing that really you can just do that forever but if you're interested in hunting for extra merits one day you might want to revisit this section and do a bunch of assassinations and kidnappings and some other safer crimes that you can still get a lot of good merits from um, so those are the safe crimes that are recommended by the community. Also, some other tips, especially for the newer players who are on a tight budget, can't afford a lot of Xanax for training, you can consider consuming cannabis instead. Make that the Choose that to be the drug that you consume um, because it refills your nerve. So you can drink a bunch of beer, consume some cannabis, and then... You can do more crimes. There's also crime enhancer items. So for each type of crime, 
there's a specific item that if you buy it or find it in the city or if you acquire it and if it's as long as it's in your inventory it boosts your success rate when completing or attempting a, a designated crime there's a, a different enhancer for each crime so um, so just know which crime that you're working on and make sure you have that crime that crime enhancer also I know in episode one I mentioned that there are three city job tracks and for each well there are the three beginner ones and then there are three advanced jobs um, hey Lou and for the three advanced jobs if you get promoted to the highest position in each of those job tracks then you'll unlock a permanent bonus so when you're the the medical job track um, gives you the ability to revive the law job track is the one I'm wanted to mention here gives you 10% crime success rate boost which is big also there's education there are, I, th I know there's also a specific course that I think it's a computer science course that that boosts your um, hacking or virus there's some there's some specific course sorry um, but what I really wanted to mention was that if you batch if you finish your bachelor's degree of psychology that comes with an extra 10% boost as well we already really looked at the merits and the faction perks but just as a reminder these are all the things that you can do to, to make sure you're on the right track for crimes okay so that's really all of the content really for nerve and crimes that I wanted to cover now before you leave, if, uh, please give me a like and a, and a comment below. If you include your torn ID in your comment, that'll help me a lot to make sure you're entered in for this next new giveaway. We're starting right now. It's just going to be another donator pack. It's going to be the one that was donated to, to our channel. Um, I'll draw the winner by the end of August. And if you want even more giveaways if if these youtube giveaways just aren't satisfying you know quenching your thirst for for some sweet dp um donator packs then check out my discord server or really our discord server because i've got some friends helping me with it now um, link is in the description below we've got just a public lotto giveaway channel we've got a more private kind of a vip giveaway that's really just for my frequent flyers the people that help supply my trading um, and we've got other giveaways that I I sneakily put in other channels within the server um, just to reward people who who are really active and check stuff out um, the only other thing I'll 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 leave you with here before I before I stop recording is to let me know, I want you to let me know what you want me to cover in future videos. So let me know in the comment section below, and thanks for watching. Hope you guys are, and gals, are enjoying your game. Peace.